Bookmark this video if you sell print on demand on Etsy, because I'm gonna be showing you how to find fresh new ideas for winning products in just minutes. Let's get right into it. So I've got Etsy open right here. Now you can type anything into the search bar. One of my favorite things is just to type in the word funny and then maybe type shirt if I wanna sell t-shirts. By the way, if you're a beginner selling on Etsy, I actually don't recommend selling t-shirts just because I think it's one of the most oversaturated product types. And if you're using Printful or Printify, you have access to hundreds of different print-on-demand products in their catalogs. So pretty much pick anything else. I think you're just gonna have an easier time. That being said, I searched for funny shirt. Now what I'm gonna do is open up Everbee. Now I've got the product analytics pulled up and what it does by default is it looks at the data for all the products on the current page that you're looking at. So I'm looking at one page of search results, but as you can imagine, there's thousands and tens of thousands of products indexed on funny shirt. So what I'm gonna recommend you do is expand your search by clicking Everbee database. Now it's gonna search over 130 million product listings that Everbee is maintaining in their database. Now from here, you can sort by sales, revenue, uh, growth rate, which is brand new. You can sort by total sales, total reviews, listing age, et cetera. I've got it sorted by revenue. I'm looking at the biggest winners over time. Now, one thing I wanted to mention, given that I'm doing this in the month of July, is we're still seeing some lingering effects of last month being Father's Day. Because look at these shirts. We're seeing, you know, awesome like my daughter shirts. Let me move myself again. Uh, that are recently selling extremely well. Uh, the monthly revenue on this shirt after June is over $22,000, which is great, right? That's a huge win. And check it out. We were able to identify a simple text-based design. Who always preaches that text-based designs can be winners? This guy right here, I know firsthand. Um, but it's not that useful of a signal because we know it's primarily a Father's Day shirt. Well, how could we figure that out at a glance? Well, because Everbee just added this new growth rate column that you see right here, you can actually see the growth rate is declining and they made it very obvious by putting it in red text with a red background. So we can actually, without even looking at each individual product right here, scroll down until we get to some green products that are actually seeing an uptick in sales volume, an uptick in search interest, et cetera. Those are the winners we should be seeking out. Granted, it's awesome that we found a shirt that did over 20K in revenue in the last month, but that's not helping if it's for a, you know, it's kind of an evergreen shirt in a sense, right? Awesome, like my daughter, it can sell year round, but we know the sales are heavily concentrated in June, at least if it's gonna do, you know, over 20K in a month in sales. So this new feature growth rate in Everbee, plus they added the trends column as well. So you can actually, you know, here's one, it says funny 144 quotes. Uh, is this an SVG or is it an actual t-shirt? Let me see real quick. Um, it looks to be actually t-shirts all in the cruising niche, which is a big niche uh, all year round, but summer cruises seem to be popular. And let's go ahead. Let's look at the trends for this. I'm going to click and it's going to pop up an entirely new uh, section of data here related to this listing specifically because this is the one we selected. And it's showing us last month's growth rate. And it's the full month, June 1st to June 30th, okay? It did about 859 sales and brought in $9,700 in revenue. And we can even expand this out. We can do the last three months. And you can see that this shirt is number one, trending in the right direction. It may not be super obvious, but it's up and to the right. And uh, it's done about 1,500 sales and $16,600 in revenue in the last three months. So I would say if you're just starting off on Etsy, brand new, like I said, don't do t-shirts, but if you're just looking for niches and or product opportunities, like in our initial query, we added the word shirt. You don't always have to do that. You know what I mean? If you wanna be in a specific niche, just type the niche, don't put the product type and you'll get all types of ideas. But I love that Everbee just recently added these columns for both the trends data, which you can see a lot of these lingering Father's Day shirts are on the decline. It doesn't mean that they're bad ideas to sell. You just don't want it misrepresented. You know what I mean? That coming off the back of, you know, the best time of year out of a 12 month span. Uh, the next one up is the Gulf of America, which I do believe is trademarked. So I'm gonna steer clear of that one. But you can see here in terms of growth rate, that Gulf of America shirt is up 1300%. So absolutely 
massive. Now, you can click the trends graph here and you can see the recent spike in interest. It looks like it's actually a relatively new design. And what's cool is because we're using Everbee, you can see under the listing age column, this listing is uh, two months old, give or take. Um, here is a funny 4th of July. And of course, with 4th of July, that's probably why the Gulf of America is trending. 4th of July goose shirt. By the way, if you guys weren't aware, you can get a quick kind of insight into any listing by clicking and triggering the sidebar. And just so you guys know, like let's say you found your way to this shirt through an organic search on uh, Etsy. Well, you can still click analyze listing and get additional insights into this listing, including the growth rate right here. And again, you have the um, time periods. Now, because this is a relatively new listing, whoops, sorry, I'm covering it up. Because it's a relatively new listing, you don't have the ability to go back in time three months, six months, 12 months. But this snapshot in time that is available right here from June 1st to June 30th is still telling you, hey, this comfort color shirt, so in your mind, you're like, okay, not just t-shirts, but comfort color shirts in, I didn't look at the colors, but I'm guessing they don't have too many different colors available. And also just make a note, like we control our primary thumbnail on Etsy. They made this color blue the primary thumbnail, perhaps because it's in the July 4th niche. You know, it's a duck riding a rocket that says fire quacker, hilarious. And they put it on a shirt that is blue for July 4th. Makes sense, right? Looks like they've also got mock-ups here on red shirts, baby blue shirts. You know, they leaned into the July 4th. No surprise there. If you go into analyze listing though and you scroll down, you'll also see tags. This is extremely useful if you ask me and you can expand this out um, and see all of the different tags that are driving traffic to this listing. By the way, look at the highest value keyword associated with this listing. This is, if you guys have heard me, there's one thing unconventional that I personally do on Etsy that I know if you listen to a lot of Etsy YouTubers, it may not be um, common sentiment, but I'm completely fine with not using all 13 tags. If I'm getting into the weeds and adding tags just to hit 13 that I think are fringe relevant. To me, as a realistic person, I'm a realist to a fault, I'm okay with putting tags like fire quacker shirt if that's the text in the design, understanding that I could also add the tag July 4th shirt, but it's me and it's, you know, a million, literally a million other shirts trying to get indexed on July 4th shirt. So is me adding that tag really that helpful? You could argue yes, like it's helping the Etsy algorithm understand that it's a July 4th shirt, but also July 4th is gonna be in my title. So I'm just saying like, I'm not saying skip your tags, but also, Time is money and uh, time is money. You know what I mean? It takes a long time to get those 13 tags done unless you have ever be. Wow, because you can literally click and copy all 13 just like that. I don't know if you guys can see, I typed them all into my URL bar at the top, but in one click, all 13 tags are done. And if you don't feel good about copying tags, which by the way are like not visible on the front end, you know what I mean? No, one, no, no buyer or nobody who's browsing the July 4th shirts knows that you copied these tags. So I have no problem with it because it is just, again, it's back end metadata for the Etsy algorithm. So you know what I mean? Like <laughs> I, I don't have a problem with it. It's literally just to train the Etsy algorithm. Um, and so I wanted to make you guys aware that this is all here. And even if you don't want to click analyze listing, you also get the data table up here, giving you insights like how many sales a month is this listing driving? What are the total sales, total views, conversion rate, listing age and favorites? So that's it. Now all you have to do is continue down here. The key takeaway is I started with a broad search term, right? I said funny shirt. You can go into specific niches. I like the paranormal niche. I could say just the word paranormal, right? Or I could say paranormal and then add the product type as a, another qualifier on the query. It's really up to you, whatever flavor of print on demand you want, but Everbee's got our backs. And now with the new growth rate, we're not gonna be led astray by looking at Father's Day stuff when that trend already came to pass. Um, Let's find another one here. Uh, Anti-Trump shirt right here. So it says democracy has no kings. Well, I don't really watch any news or anything like that. I'm not really plugged into social media or at least in politics. Um, I do look at social media for you know trading the stock market basically. Um, so this would have been right over my head, but now I found this trending design that did 198 sales in the last month simply by looking at Everbee and seeing that this is it currently, as of right now, this might be different. If you're watching this video in the future, by the way, you can go find this exact listing. It may be experiencing a negative growth rate. But as I record this, if we go back to this data table, the growth rate is up 500% currently, representing a good opportunity. Now, the growth rate is should not be the only thing dictating your decisions when it comes to what niches to enter, but it is at a glance a nice way of allowing you to scroll past, you know, the whole chunk at the top of Father's Day shirts, right? 
And as we continue down, like a couple more examples, um, just a dad who always came home with the milk. Okay. That is a father's day shirt, but it's also on an uptrend. So maybe people are continuing to buy that past father's day. Uh, this says hotter than a hoochie coochie. Believe that's uh, a <laughs> song lyrics, um, custom logo shirts, uh, 4th of July is still, um, being represented as on an uptrend, but over time, it will be again updated where you'll start to see the July 4th stuff on a downtrend. Uh, Comfort Colors Van Gogh cat shirt, which you could use AI and come up with a shirt like this, shirt design like this. Um, the public domain works of art too, using AI to kind of remix them. I've seen some crazy sales numbers. That design specifically is doing about 132 sales a month, which is really impressive. Anyways, that's basically it, guys. I just wanted to show you that. I love the visual. It's really, I think, the visual aspect because when you're looking at a big data table in your web browser using the Everbee Chrome extension, it kind of looks like an Excel spreadsheet. But now they're assisting us so that at a glance, we can kind of find the winners or the potential winners. You obviously can do additional validation using other metrics like you watched me do. But you can also scroll right past the, uh, I don't want to say losers because, you know, when these listings <laughs> that have a negative growth rate we're doing, you know, more than $10,000 a month in revenue just last month. I don't want to call them losers and misrepresent it either, but we're meant to be forward looking. You know what I mean? We want to position ourselves to make wins in the future, not base all of our research on the past, if that makes sense. So anyways, Everbee is assisting us in doing that. I wanted to make you guys aware because I know most of you guys are probably already using them and you might not have known this was there if you didn't look recently, but the growth rate and the trends columns have been really effective at helping me do my research lately on Etsy. So I want to make you guys aware. I'll link to Everbee in the description. Thank you guys for watching till the end and I'll see you soon with another new video.